Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. The truth about Meghan Markle's surprising hidden talents. If we'd learned anything about Meghan Markle's life, it's that privacy is a distant memory from her past. Since her highly publicized wedding to Prince Harry and the subsequent celebration of their two-year anniversary, made all the more memorable by their exit from royal life, Meghan has been a hot topic in the media. She's so popular that she and Harry are now suing major media outlets for infringing upon her privacy, namely through publishing excerpts of a letter she wrote to her father. On the flip side, it shows that the world is helplessly fascinated by this couple, especially Meghan, and while we have no time for cruelty, we love keeping up to date with our favorite Californian gone royal gone Californian. As she, Harry, and baby Archie navigate their new lives in Los Angeles, there's one more tidbit from Meghan's past that has surfaced through an old resume, when the actress was likely around 24. The document reveals some really cool facts about her, as well as a hidden talent we knew nothing about. Meghan Markle is a force to be reckoned with. An old resume belonging to Meghan Markle has surfaced online, and we are delightfully surprised to discover some new things about her. The document lists some of Meghan's physical traits, stating that she has brown eyes and is five foot six, but it also shares some fascinating skills. Meghan is trained in kickboxing and martial arts. In fact, when she landed her iconic role on the U.S. legal show, Suits, she had a trainer who could testify to her abilities. Jorge Blanco, who has also worked with Chris Hemsworth, worked with Meghan to get her in shape for her role. He spoke to Vanity Fair Spain about his experience. I trained Meghan when she was in Toronto during the shooting of the series Suits. We did a little bit of martial arts, a little boxing, and sometimes kickboxing. I never really thought she could end up being a princess. I had a great time training with her because she's super nice and speaks Spanish with an Argentine accent. Blanco's point brings up another fun fact from Megan's old resume. She is fluent in Spanish and proficient in French. So Megan is multilingual and trained in martial arts. After the grace she's already shown in moving to California and dealing with these legal issues, She's proving there's nothing she can't do. And so on to other news and why royal experts believe Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are never going back to their royal duties. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, left their royal duties earlier this year, and while there has been some speculation that they could return, one royal expert believes that won't happen. Have Prince Harry and Meghan moved on for good? Meghan and Prince Harry exited the family. In January, Prince Harry and Meghan stunned the world when they announced their plans to step back from their royal duties. Queen Elizabeth supported their decision and made arrangements for the couple to officially end their royal duties on March 31st. In a speech he delivered following the Queen's statement of support, Prince Harry shared how their decision was a necessary one noting how they felt they had no other option. Will Prince Harry and Meghan return? The Sussexes first resided in Canada before making their move to Los Angeles after their exit, but many have wondered if they would eventually return to the royal family after some time away. Royal expert Marlene Koenig explained to express why she believes they are gone for good, despite the Queen's one-year trial agreement. When asked if, at the end of the year, the Sussexes might return, Koenig said, absolutely not, not going to happen. They have made their decision, and the Queen has accepted it. The Sussexes' decision was necessary for the couple to escape the harsh criticism they endured from the media, so it's unlikely that they would want to return to that spotlight again. Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, have taken on more in the Sussexes' absence, Prince William and Kate have been more active, with Koenig believing Prince Harry and Meghan aren't needed, the expert explained. 
I do see, for example, the Cane Ridges certainly stepping up, taking on more, obviously not right now, once we've passed COVID-19 and people are able to go out again and live far more normal lives. I also certainly think Sophie will be taking more as well. I don't think they're needed. There's no going back. The Sussexes may not be working in a royal capacity, but they continue to stay in touch with the charities they supported as they moved forward with their own organization, Archwell. Koenig shared. They will keep in touch with their charities and the system will be reviewed after a year. By that time, I think they'll be on a financial foothold for themselves, and they will have made more decisions on where they are going to live and what their new non-profit will be. Koenig doesn't believe there's any chance at that point that the Sussexes will return. Koenig noted. But I think they've made their decision, and I don't think there's any going back. Another analysis. Prince William and Kate Middleton could provide Prince Harry and Meghan Markle with financial support. When Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, announced their plans to step back from their royal duties, they stunned the world. Queen Elizabeth ultimately supported their decision and they came to an agreement which included fulfilling their desire to be financially independent after their exit. One source believes that the couple may end up getting financial assistance from Prince William and Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge at some point if needed. Prince Harry and Meghan announced their plan to step back. In January, Prince Harry and Meghan dropped their announcement to step back from their royal duties, taking to Instagram to explain their plan. They explained at the time. After many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent, while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. They continued, It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter including the launch of our new charitable entity. They officially exited the family. The Queen worked to iron out the details of the Sussexes' exit, which required them to give up their HRH titles and any public funding as they set off to live a life out of the spotlight. Will Prince William and Kate give the Sussexes financial assistance? It remains to be seen how exactly Prince Harry and Meghan will earn an income, but According to a report from the Talco, Prince William and Kate could step in to help if the Sussexes need financial assistance. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may be stepping down from their royal duties, but they are still part of the family. We are giving up a significant source of income, and it's expected that Prince Charles will privately subsidize their lifestyles, the report noted. When Prince William inherits the rights to the Duchy of Cornwall, when Prince Charles ascends the throne, it's likely that William and Kate will be responsible for helping out Harry and Meghan if they need it. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry's situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.